There's our spa bug and welcome to Salty Stone Retreat. I am doing a behind the scenes series. This could be for my clients or potential clients to just see what we do here and how we take care of things before you arrive or when you leave. And this can be for a therapist who has maybe has been in the industry or has always wanted to know what I've done behind the scenes and uh, or get a little tip and trick. It's so cool to share information. I'm doing it on our basalt stones. So these are bought stones in our industry and how you take care of them is, is important. It translates when you use it onto the body, the way that the stones feel. Cleaning them is a huge ordeal. I like to take rubbing alcohol and pour it into I use these kind of containers or glass. So if this drops, I have a little dent in it, it won't break. That's why I chose this. I fill it up halfway with water, so I dilute it. I also take paper towels. And those ones that are halvesies, I halvesie it, I fold it in half, and I have a stack that is readily available. So I can just, so I'm not ripping off a paper towel or have a have it looking like a paper towel. It actually looks pretty spa-like. I take this, I either spray my hands real quick, rub them together, and you got a hand washing station if you do not have a sink in your room. We are in our salt room and I do not have a sink in here. I have a sink close by, but if I would like to, if I'm working on someone's feet, and I decide to go back up to their face, which I don't personally choose to do, but I can sanitize my hands. If I am in between clients, back to back has been really well known in our industry. You can actually wipe this off and put it back into your source that you're heating it from. I choose to use a UV ray uh, towel caddy warmer. I have done it all. I've done crock pots and the actual, um, hot stone warmers that are t three times as much as a as a um, crock pod situation. I have um, used towel warmers and I use a UV ray one. Another neat thing that I do, and this could be for therapists, but this is kind of neat to know if you're coming here. I re-energize these stones by using salt. So I wash them. I also use tea tree oil. I soak them sometimes. I just do whatever moves me, but the salt, scrubbing them with salt, is a great way to re-energize them. And then I even take it a step further. I re-energize these stones. I have a bunch of them. I lay them out. And when I'm in a pinch, I just lay out what I use on a day-to-day, because -day, I have hundreds of these stones. <laughs> so I only lay out like 20 stones. I take them out of my bowl. I lay them out in moonlight and I collect them up and re-energize it by the moonlight. Pretty cool information. So if you're coming here and you're feeling extra super good and you just don't know if it's the therapist or could it be the stones, I'll let you decide. Thank you for watching.